So once again, we have two men who have brought huge support here tonight, as you can hear from both their crowds in the red corner. Reese, the he-man croning, a plasterer from Bath, 26 years of age, slightly the shorter guy, against the finisher, Bradley Fox, and 20 years of age, a French polisher from Whitchurch. And as I said, both got huge support here, and you could see the way they were staring each other down. It gets the adrenaline going, it gets the atmosphere up, it takes it up a notch, and both these men are now really ready to go. So Cronin, the slightly shorter man in the blue against the finisher Foxen. Sorry, in the red against the finisher Foxen in the blue. And it's Cronin that pushes forward with the jab. Nice upper body movement as well. And exploding forward with heavy punches to the body there. Skips out of the way of the retaliation. Foxen chasing his man down, but nice upper body movement from Cronin. Taunting his man, teasing him with his hands down. Then comes forward with heavy left and rights. Foxen looking to hold on, and you can hear the crowd's response for both fighters immediately. Calls them together, tells them to just calm it down, tidy up their boxing. Again, I said it's very difficult when... You've got a huge support like this, and you want to please your travelling fans, and you want to do well for them. And away they go again. And again, good upper body movement for Cronin. He's taking a chance with his hands down like that. But coming blasting forward from that ducking and weaving stance. Causing Foxen to work. Holding with the left hand, hitting with the right. Gets away with it. Stiff jab, though, as he comes forward this time. And again, looking to lean in and blitz his man to the body. And Foxen complaining the way out. His head guard doesn't like the way it's slipping down. And again, straight punches through the channel, working for Cronin as he comes forward. And again, Foxen looks to his corners to say, head guard, get on with the fight. Worry about your opponent, not your head guard. And ducking very low, Cronin, with his hands down there. Then comes forward with punches and bunches. It's working for him at the end of the first round. You've got to go with the red corner, and hopefully Foxen in the blue will get his helmet sorted out so it can calm him down and get him focused on his opponent and the job at hand. Because he's around down at the moment. So here they go for round two, and Cronin very confident indeed as he comes forward. As I said, hopefully Fox and head guard sorted now can concentrate on the business at hand, the opponent in front of him. And trying to deal with that bobbing and weaving, ducking and diving style of Cronin with his hands down, who then bursts forward with straight punches as he does there. And then the jab again. Lands cleanly with the left and right this time. And it's unsettling Fox and Cronin's style. Bit of showboating there, flashes the left and flashes the right and then throws the opposite hand. Goading his man. Helmet comes off of Fox and... Oh! And then when the helmet's off, takes a punch right through the channel from Cronin who's obviously very, very fired up for this. The referee will give him a talking to, to calm him down. But it was right after the helmet came off, clean hook. Adrenaline coursing through him. Makes you do things sometimes. Peter Markland to listen to him at all times and to stop when he's told to stop as in when his opponent's helmet was off. So the touch gloves, they'll go again. 
and it's a point deducted. It's actually a point deducted for Cronin for that. So, puts Foxen right back into this fight. And he's got to come to terms with the style of Cronin here because he isn't at the moment. And he's second best in the exchanges. And again, his helmet very loose, which will only act as frustration. And you can see the needle between the two men here talking to each other. They're just getting cleaned up with the towel. And away they go again. And similar style again from Cronin. Goading his man, ducking low, then coming forward with punches in bunches. And Foxen able to come to terms with this style, unable to land cleanly or walk his men, man down, and this is the problem for him. Cronin racking up the points. Foxen suddenly bursts into life, and you can hear his crowd's response to it, but he doesn't land cleanly on his man, and that's the problem. Lots of punches thrown, but none really landing cleanly to make a difference, and then Cronin bursts forward again. So there you have it at the end of the second. More effort and work from Foxen, but again, you've got to go with the red corner there. I've got him two to the good. So we've got the third and final round, and I've got the red corner two rounds to the good. Bradley Foxen has just not come to terms with the style of Reese Cronin in, in the red. He's been mesmerized by the ducking and diving. He's missed with a number of his punches, and then Cronin bursts forward with straight punches and scores his points. Foxen's never looked in trouble, but he's not looked like scoring the points to win the fight either. For the first time, he gets through with a double jab, and then Cronin comes forward once more. And again, you can see the effort and the determination from Foxen. It's just not enough. He's not getting through cleanly enough to back his man up and really score the points. Whereas Cronin with that bobbing and weaving style and then suddenly bursting forward with a flurry of punches is working for him. It's as simple as that. You adopt a style, you adopt a fighting attitude and it's working for Cronin, it's not for Foxen, and there's no plan B for Foxen. This is the problem, but he has only had that 10 weeks training, so you wouldn't expect a plan B to be in place there. He's done well just to get in there, do the three rounds in front of such a big crowd with big support like that. As I said, it's, it's, a, it's a, a 10 week boot camp before you get into the ring, and you can't learn it all, and so there's no plan B there for him as Cronin continues to duck and dive and then burst forward with his punches. On his way, I feel, to a comfortable three-round victory. I can't see him stopping Foxen this late in the day, but I can't see Foxen getting the knockdown or the knockout that will turn this fight around either. So I think it's going to be a, a comfortable three-round win for the man in the red corner, despite the best efforts of Bradley Foxen. Cronin's style has just been too clever for him. And again, he moves out the way, hands low, ducks out the way, and then he'll burst forward again with those cluster of punches in bunches. As he does there once more. And there you go, three straight rounds, I feel, for the red corner.
these two fighters tonight are trained their asses off from Zippo to Hero. They worked hard every day. They dieted, they trained, they slept, they trained, they worked really hard. Both of these guys are winners tonight. It's what Zero to Hero is all about. They've changed their lives forever. But we can only have one winner in this ring of that last three rounds. Is also a winner.